yeah hello guys welcome to today's um series um today's um, chapter sorry and we'll be talking about um middleware as you well know in the previous chapter we discussed about routes how to set it up and we also refactored our main.go file to move our entry points routes that is home home route to a file called route.go we created a function that accepts the handler so we can assess the method we created to be checking the route or to be checking the health of our application we also assess the echo server using as we have already associated it to the application structs we defined so basically what we are going to be doing today is um focusing on how middleware works and how you can actually create a custom middleware so the I, the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce us to the middlewares that are already available in echo framework itself so as you can see this are a bunch of middlewares that you can actually access or you can use in your echo framework we have the basic odds which you can use to do basic authentication we have the body dump which you can use to actually access the you can capture the request and response payload so this one you can use it to capture the request that is coming into your application and you can also use it to capture the payload uh the payload that is being sent out of your application these are really nice for debugging and logging purpose we have the body limit which you can use to actually limit the size of content that can be sent to your application so let's say for example you want to limit that the highest uh, le content length that can be sent to your application is 2 mb 3 kilobytes and all you can use this as well but i won't be going through all the available middleware with the middleware that i want us to use is the logger middleware because currently in our application we are not doing early login if we restart our application now if we restart our application now you will notice that if we eat this request you if you eat this request we are not getting any information about the request that is coming into our application and it will really be nice to actually see what is coming in so what we are going to make use of is the logout middleware so the logout middleware helps us to inspect the request coming into our application you can see the remote ip you can see the host you can see the method that is being visited maybe it is a get method it is a post request it is a patch request it is a put request is it is a delete request it is an option request you can also see the latency latency mean how long it actually took for the request to get executed then also you can see the number of bytes that are actually coming so i'm just going to copy it and paste it uh, right after defining all our applications the one thing i want to call your attention to is for you to be able to use this echo middleware framework you need to install it by running uh, go.get the middleware and the reason why it is not i'm not getting having anything printed in my url is because i already have it installed in the application so i'm just going to copy it and i will leave it in the app in the description of this particular chapter so that you can go you can run it in when you are building yours so that being said uh if we restart our application now after integrating the 
after adding the logger middleware okay so we are getting an error uh echo file windows go listing address already in use oh sorry we already have the application running here so let me just restart it um uh, so let's refresh now you can see this you can see that we are getting all the information about the request we are getting the remote ip the host we are even getting the browser the user is actually visiting our site from which is actually a very nice thing if you ask me we are also seeing the uri and we are also seeing the method which is actually a get request but the idea of this tutorial is to actually show you how to use a custom middleware then another thing by the side that you need to note is a middleware sits between the incoming request and your route handlers so if there's anything that you want to do with the request coming in before getting to your route handler middleware is a very nice place to actually do it a very nice usage of middleware is you want to check if an authenticated user maybe the user has logged in and you want to check that the user has not yet been banned or even the user is already logged in but the user was banned after they had been logged in by the admin so a middleware is a nice place to check if the user has been banned and you can bounce the user out of your application so i will just create a custom middleware now i will call it custom custom middleware middleware so the name of the package for our middlewares will be middlewares or let's call it app middlewares and the reason why i'm calling it app middlewares is because our echo framework already has a package name called middleware but it does not matter let's just call it middlewares and we are going to create a function called which is going to be our middleware let me just call it custom it will be in capital letter so that it will be accessible outside the pa package itself custom middle middleware right in order to use a custom middleware in echo framework it accepts some parameter and so we are going to go to the cookbook and we are going to see where they created a middleware so you can see um a middleware collect uh, so this is a middleware that collects request counts statuses and uptime middleware to write a custom server header to the response so this is not what we, we are building what we are interested in is okay how can we actually build a custom middleware for ourselves so as you can see this middleware it accepts a next parameter which is basically an handler funk so the purpose of the next parameter is because the way middlewares are built they are built to actually execute one after the other so if you don't call the next method it will not be able to execute the next middleware after it so that means you are actually stocked in this particular you are stocked in this particular middleware so let's see it in in uh in application so it's the cost method we accept the next parameter which is an handler form and it will also return an handler form right so now what i just want to do here the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to print fmt using the fmt package print line we are in the custom middleware right uh then how do we use it just like we used um just like we used the regular middleware that, that is actually provided by us by 
go um, by echo framework itself now you can see that this is complaining because we actually need to return the next uh the next we, we need to call the next method and return it back to the front end and the only way to do that is and the next method which is like an handler an handler funk is just like our regular handlers that we created here because they are also it is also returning it is also a an an instance of an handler fork function i mean so in order to have access to the um in order to have access to this echo context we need to now copy this function come in here paste and now we can call our next um, function because all of this you are looking at here is actually a type of echo framework and la function because as you can see it it is the type function is accepting a context from the echo framework so now if we come in here and actually print and okay we have we are printing we are in the custom middleware now let's go to our main and let's use the custom middleware we just created so e dot use so the name of our middleware which is middlewares middle app middlewares what's the name middlewares Middleware's dot custom middleware and it is okay we don't need to pass any distance to it anymore so i think okay let's see how we do we use it how do we use it s that's process process okay so we don't need to we don't need to call it as a method in order to use it we just need to pass it in like this so if we refresh our application now and we visit our now you can see we are in the custom middleware right and remember i said the middlewares are going to be executed one after the other so you can see that the first middleware that was called is this middleware even though we have arranged it like this if we want the custom middleware to be called before uh we want the custom middleware let's say we want to register i don't know if this can accept okay it can accept an array of custom middleware so let's do this let's try something let's copy this comment it out and we want our custom middleware to be called after login after the logger middleware we just do this if we refresh our application again rebuild it and come here now you will see that hmm, for some reason okay i know why if we want that to happen we'll move it into this place right so let's let's do that now no, I need to refresh. So if we refresh again and call this, now you can see that our we are in custom middleware is now being called. So let's try to place it uh, after. Let's see because I think let's see what happens let's refresh again okay for some reason the logger middleware is always executing at the end there's no executing before so anyway i i think you understand okay let's create another middleware to just test let's say another middleware just to be sure of the process of execution middleware so uh i'll just copy this or let me just let me even add it here 
So let's 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 stay with what we are doing. Let me see all this another middle year. We are in another middle year. So let's see how it gets executed. We'll say middle years dot another middle year. Now let's refresh. Eat it again. So you can see now the custom middleware is called, then another middleware is called, then the logger middleware is called. So the way you actually arrange your middlewares matters. Please, it matters. So be careful when you are actually making use of middleware. You can either do it like this, or you can do it on separate lines like this. We, like the way we did this initially. So if I remove this from it and say e dot use middleware, middleware, another middleware, and remove the logout. Now let's refresh. So you can see we have the another middleware is called, then the custom middleware is called, then the logger middleware is called. So the echo framework itself has actually made it that the middleware, the logger middleware is the last middleware that is being called at least before the custom middlewares that we are creating. So we should actually take note of that. So I hope um, you have been able to understand how to create your own custom middleware and how to use it in your server, right? So I hope you have we got that correctly. So in the next chapter, we'll be that we'll be going deeper into our backend application. At that point, now we have almost everything set up. What we need to do now is we need to start doing the actual stuff the fun stuff which is actually creating updating deleting doing put requests patch requests and all so for next um for next um chapter what we'll be handling is how to actually define our model and how to actually do migrations in our application see you next chapter and I hope you actually enjoyed this particular chapter and hope to see you. Please, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and also share with your friends and colleagues at work to also enjoy this nice um, tutorial. Thank you.